Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a flip through of my Everyday Carry, my uh, main planner for this year. So this is the Clever Fox A5 Weekly Planner. And on the front I just have uh, three stickers. This one is kind of peeling up and coming off and I actually like peeled it back um, and it took off some of, it didn't take the, the cover off completely, but it kind of like peeled up something. So I think I might actually have to take it off and just put some super glue on or something like that on it. I'm getting, I'm having a hard time making it stick. Um, I think this is faux leather, so it's probably not the best surface for the planners, but these other two don't seem to be having any problems. So I think I'm going to have to work on that, that one. So this is the front, uh, really simple and nothing on the back. So we are going to do a full walkthrough and I'm going to show you how I've been using it. So I just have one sticker right there. And then this is the first area that we're going to go over. I haven't filled this out yet. I'm still kind of thinking about what I want to include on these pages. So I just have it simply decorated. Um, and then the next section, I think these were vision, I think on the top it said vision board and I kind of just covered it up, um, <clears throat> and wrote down like a model prayer and just some notes about that. And then I have a note section over here. Oh, excuse me. Then we have my goal section and I have been slowly filling this out also. So as I think about things, um, I've been going in and, you know, just taking my time and really writing down goals. I don't, to be honest, like to make goals, um, especially for a whole year because so much can happen in a year. And, um, I don't know, I'm still on the fence about it. I haven't made yearly goals in a very long time, so I'm going to try it this year and we will see what happens. Okay. So the next section, I did enjoy doing this section. This is the, my focus and, um, I think maybe you were supposed to, since it says goal one through five, the idea is maybe take some of these goals and put them over here. I didn't do that at all. Um, these, I really kind of honed in on what I want my focus to be on. Um, most of them are all faith-based. Um, and I really wanted that to be my focal point for this upcoming year. So different categories. Uh, the mind map, I also have not figured out how I'm going to fill it out yet. So stay tuned for that. So this page is still blank. All right, see, so our important date section, I'm going to fill this out after I film this video so no one's information is on the internet, um, but I'll probably just put birthdays, maybe some like school uh, dates, deadlines, things like that. They haven't finalized our um, teaching calendar yet, so that's kind of up in the air for uh, the end of this year. So this is the important date section. Next, we have our year overview for 2024 and 2025. The only thing I did on these pages were add stickers, and then I took a Zig color dot. It was, uh, I think, pastel blue or powder blue, and I just um, dotted the holidays that were written down here. I probably won't do it for 2025 because I'll have a new planner at that point, so I just went ahead and did it for 2024, really, um, if I need to uh, look ahead for anything. All right, so next we have the first month, which is, which is January, and I went through, and um, this is also something that I usually don't do, but I decorated every single month in this planner. Um, I wanted to just have it decorated so I can go back and fill it in, because looking back at other planners, like my Hobonichi from 2022, or also my larger Hobonichi um, from 2023. I waited until like that month to decorate. And so every month looks different. And some months I ran out of space. Some months I had, um, there's more white space. So I just wanted to have everything set and just feel settled. So anyways, that's a whole long explanation just to tell you guys that I went ahead and um, decorated all of the months. So I will show this to you. So here is January and then we had February and all of these stickers were from uh, Simply Smith stickers on Etsy and I just used a couple. They were um, all different sheets 
that one uh, the February was like coffee this one is a travel theme next we have uh, an Easter theme for April I really love these stickers uh, these might have been from planner Kate actually or playing with Kate then we have May we've got some tea and cupcakes then, of course, a summer theme for June. And here is July with, uh, I think these stickers were called Kawaii Desserts or something. Then we have August, which a cute little uh, kind of like breakfast theme. Next up is September, and I tried to pick colors that would go with the color scheme because with this planner it is colorful so every month um you get like one color and that month that color is carried throughout all the weeks so I did try to do that which um to be honest was fun to, to try to match the stickers to the monthly pages next we have October and these cute little book stickers and after October, of course, we have November, and this was like another planner set, the little traveler's notebooks, um, the cute little coil planner, paper clip, and then the last month is December, and I've got two, uh, we've got birthdays in December, so I went with a birthday theme. So that's how I have decorated. Um, it's enough decoration for me because I do like to decorate, but it also gives me lots of space to write things in. All right, so then we're going to jump into the weekly. So this is the first week of January. And um, I used my uh, dot marker again, which you guys know that I love. Um, and I went ahead and dotted. So I've, I'm still kind of like figuring out how many stickers I can use because there's a lot of places to write and places to fill in, which is great because I can see everything at the week. Um, so I just used a couple of stickers, uh, things that needed to get done on these particular days went on this side. And then um, like personal to-do list, all those things went on this side. And this, this was the first week, it worked out really well. Um, and then here we have the second week of January and same thing. Some more uh, decorating and uh, the pen that I'm using is the Pilot uh, Juice Up, which I haven't really loved in any other planner except this planner because this paper is really nice and thick and the pen just like glides over it. It's not like um, a traditional gel pen. It's hard. It is a gel, but it's very hard to explain. So if you have thicker planner pages and you're looking for a really smooth writing pen, I would definitely check out the Pilot Juice Up. So that was the second week. And then here we have uh, the third week decorated and kind of ready to go. I used larger stickers this week um, and then tracked the weather because fingers crossed we might get some snow. That would just be great. And here is a blank week just so you can see um, what this looks like. So this is what I have been using um, for everything for home and for myself and for family for planning for this year. So I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.